Good afternoon, everybody. It's Deb Sofield with Weekend Pulse. And, you know, a couple weeks ago, I had Kelly Byers, and she came by, and she and I were talking about the eclipse extravaganza that the Science Center will be putting on. And then she mentioned a guy by the name of Tim Davis. And we got to thinking, now, Tim Davis, we know that name. And come to find out, Tim Davis was in the Greenville area, and he is well known for his work in Highlights Magazine. And when I was talking to Kelly, she made this amazing statement. So I had to find Tim and bring him to the studio today. And here was the line, if you can hide the sun, you can hide anything. Well, Tim Davis, thank you for coming in to Weekend Pulse. You are a well-known illustrator, and your fame is far and wide, but I believe most of us would know you because of Highlights Magazine and that you are the guy who does the hidden pictures. Tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll talk about what you're doing at the Roper Mountain Science Center. Okay. Uh, I started Hidden Pictures about 20-some years ago. And it was um, just out on a lark. I just wanted to work for highlights. I sent them some samples, and I didn't know how to hide anything, and they were terrible. <laughs> and so they tutored me, and they showed me how to do it right. And I guess the rest is history. I just kept well, doing it. So them. what's the secret <laughs> to hiding something that is in full view? I can't tell you all the secrets <laughs> because that's proprietary. It's okay. called the secret sauce. Oh, the secret. Well, we're not going to mess that up for you, my friend. But there is a couple things I'll tell you. And that's one is like in a, in a negative space, you can almost always see shapes and you can alter negative spaces just a little bit. So that's one of my favorite places. To all things. right. Well, now, now we know. Now we know. Okay. So tell me about the whole idea. If you can hide the sun, you can hide anything. This wonderful event that will be taking place at the Roper Mountain Science Center. Well, uh, I was talking to Kelly about the possibility of doing some hidden pictures there, and then it just sort of occurred to me that it all sort of goes together. I, I hadn't really thought about that before until that line, like you mentioned, if you can hide the sun, you can hide anything. Um, what's interesting about the eclipse is it's a, it's a foreground, middle ground, and background, and by moving one of those pieces, you can hide something. All right, now, okay, stop. Let's start again. Okay. Foreground, middle, back. Take, mm -hmm. explain. All right. And and every, especially in a movie scene, if you've ever watched animated, they, they split it between foreground, the things right in the front, the things in the middle, and the things in the back. Things in the back don't really move perceptively. Things in the middle move a little bit. Things in the front move a lot. And because of that, you see different, uh, a sense of depth, and you see different shapes develop. And how, that's how we judge motion with our eyes. So the eclipse is a little different in that the middle ground, which is the moon, is what's moving. And it moves right in front of the sun, which is the background, and hides it. Hmm. And that is the big event. And what's fun is that the Carolinas really have a front row seat to seeing this come through, watching, and in a sense, the countdown for when this will actually happen. We're, we're right in the stripe. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> All right, so you will be unveiling something there. Yes, I'm, I'm pitching a new hidden picture. It's not an official hidden picture yet because Highlights hasn't uh, accepted it, but um, we're going to be trying out this new concept called a moving hidden picture, and that uses what I just told you about. Uh, we move through a picture, and then as we move through, new hidden objects are created. Interesting. And this is going to be at Sims Hall of Science. You have eight presentations, so you have yes. a full day, and I believe it is August 21st. And unfortunately, it is sold out, but you never know. There may be someone who is scalping tickets outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you volunteer to help me, you there might be able to get in. We could probably do um, that. And what was it about the eclipse that just kind of caught your attention? I'm just curious. Besides, it's rare. It's, it's rare, and... I've always enjoyed astronomy to a certain extent. So this is one of those big events. You can't miss it. All right. Now, I will say that even though the Roper Mountain Center event is filled, I'm doing a couple other events that are similar. They won't be quite as big as that. But uh, I'm going to, on August 11th, I'm going to be doing the TR Crawl. And I'll be at TR Makers on Friday night from about 6 to 9. And I'll be doing sort of a limited presentation of what I'll be doing at Roper Mountain. And then uh, just the Saturday before the eclipse on the 19th, I'll do something at the Traveler's Rest Farmer's Market. 
Okay. And when you say you'll do something, can you give me a little <laughs> idea of what something well, is? Well, I don't know that I'll be able to do quite as much without a screen and all uh -huh. that. I'll be doing something to do with hidden pictures and the eclipse. So okay. uh, it's all I'll promise at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I got to just say, so knowing you were coming in today, the gentleman who makes this show happen is Tim Holland. And Tim tells me the story when he was young, his father being a doctor would get the Highlight Magazine. And it was his joy to try to find what was hidden. Have you run into folks like my friend Tim who uh, say, oh my gosh, that was what I looked for? It's a lot of fun to find fans, as it were, out there that remember the magazine and have a lot of times it's from a dentist or doctor's office. That's right. That's where we found it, the dentist and doctor's yeah. office. That was where they started marketing the magazine back way back in the 40s. That was their strategy. Get it in those offices where people are sitting around with nothing to do and the kids will look at the magazine and they did. And they did. And they continue to think this is amazing. Now, I'd be curious, how has the world of computers changed this? Uh, several things have changed. Um, actually, if we just look at hidden pictures, uh, initially they only did black and white uh, artwork. And it was all done with hand tools. Um, then, of course, as digital came in, we started doing things digitally. And then it was a lot easier to alter them. And then we started doing them in color, maybe eight, six, eight, nine years ago, something like that. And then this last year, we started doing hidden picture photographs. Now, they're not released yet, but they will be released, uh, I think, in the spring. Uh, so that's where I, I started to think, well, there's a progression here. If we can do photographs, then the next thing is videos. So that's where I'm going to try to take it. All right. So things will be turning around there. So I really want to spend this this section about what's happening at Roper Mountain and then the mm -hmm. other events that you will be doing. So if I were to come up to the Traveler's Rest Crawl, um, bring my family, is there a cost? No cost. The Traveler's Rest Crawl is just a fun event. Basically, all of Main Street Traveler's Rest is open. Sometimes they have rickshaw rides if the weather is correct and this is on august 11th august 11th um and many of the shops that would normally not be open are going to be open in the evening so um usually quite a crowd comes out uh you can visit a lot of cool places travels rest is a great place oh it is yeah i remember the slogan on the way up and i'm like wait it's more than that there's a lot of great things that are happening in there the is. small town of travelers rest just about 20 minutes outside of greenville Right. Um, and I'll say something about Makers. Um, I've worked with TR Makers a few times. They're a shop that specializes and you can go there and actually make your own stuff. So it's a, it's for artists and craftspeople. Um, Kristen, the owner of the shop, she is a screen printer. So you can design your own T-shirt and have it printed right there. And she's worked with me on several other projects because we're both artists. We like to make things. Well, are you making a T-shirt for this? She has already made a T-shirt for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I saw a T-shirt on Facebook the other day, and I thought that would be kind of fun mm -hmm. to see. But we need a hidden picture. Uh, we need something huh. where there's something hidden, so we'd have to stare at this T-shirt. I'll talk to her All about right. that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we could do there. All right. Well, I am very much looking forward to un your new unveiling and to see what you have. And I do love the line, if you can hide the sun in the sky, you can hide anything. How did y'all come up with that? That just seemed like the natural tie. And um, one of the things that I, I will give you a little hint, one of the things we'll be doing is giving away Oreos. Because if you think about it, if you shift an Oreo a little bit, it starts to look like an eclipse, right? You know, I've I've never been able to um, hold myself back from not eating the Oreo. So if I were to slow down, you're right. I could move it, maybe a double stuffed. Yes. Right. White. Give it a little twist and then sort of pull it off to the side and you have an eclipse cookie. <laughs> oh, Nabisco is going to love you for right. this. <laughs> so, yes, kids will probably enjoy it, even if they don't understand what the eclipse is. 
they might get a cookie. Well, that, that's a good, and what a great way to explain science. What a great mm-hmm. way to bring young people in so they can see what we've got going on. So, Tim, I'm going to have you back on the show because I really believe that folks would love to know more about what you've done with Highlights. I know that you teach some, and then mm-hmm. I know that you have actually, you're a published author. So um, I will be happy to have you back again. Folks, if you are interested, there's a lot for you to come and see. You can meet our friend Tim Davis, and he will be at the Roper Mountain Science Center, and then he will be doing the work in the Traveler's Rest area. Check out the Weekend Pulse website. We're right there on to, we'll put all the information on the front page along with what Tim has been doing. Tim, thanks for coming by the studio today. Thank you for having me. All right, folks, I'm Deb Sofield. This is Weekend Pulse. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned. Joey will be right back.